Hello friends, in this video we are going to find out the simple calculation that means finding out the range of radar system to the target. So let's begin with the topic. The simple calculation of calculating the range or distance of object from the radar is calculated by using the available information. That means the time taken by the signal to travel from transmitter to the target and again back from target to the receiving antenna. The calculation also includes the speed of propagation of the signal. Now in radar system, pulse radar is most commonly used radar for finding out the range or distance of the target because it provides the information very accurately. Other radars are also be used for the same purpose but they do not provide the accurate information but they can be used to detect the presence of the object. The electromagnetic signal including microwave signals that is transmitted by the radar are traveled in the air with the speed of light when they are propagated into the space. Now we know that the radar signal generation process includes sine wave carrier modulated with a series of pulse train and therefore the radar signal consists of or waveform of radar consists of sine wave carrier modulated with the pulse train. The occurrence of this pulse train is observed by using a parameter that is called as repetitive frequency and it is observed by the radar system. We know that for any moving object, the relationship between time, speed and distance is given by Now, the formula is velocity of signal propagation is equal to distance covered by signal divided by time taken by the signal. Here, the distance covered is nothing but the range at which the radar is expected that the object is present. And time taken by the signal is nothing but the time taken by the signal to transmit or to travel from transmitter to target and again back traveling from target to the receiver. Now, here velocity of the signal propagation is nothing but the speed of the signal. In case of radar system, the signal is propagated with the speed of light and speed of light is given as 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Now, when the radar system transmits the signal towards the target, the signal is traveled by the speed of light and hits the object. After hitting the object, the object reflects back the signal to the receiver. During traveling of the signal from transmitter to target and from target to the receiver, the signal is get attenuated because of the environmental factor. Here, in this case, if speed of propagation is considered as a speed of light and let's say the distance covered by signal is d, then the time period or the propagation time is nothing but the tr. So let's find out the equation to find out the range of radar system. Now, here we are considering the range or time is determined by TR. Now, if we are considering R is the range, then the time taken by the radar signal is given by time is equal to distance upon velocity. Now, let's say the distance is equal to R. And therefore, the total time or the total distance is given by because distance covered by signal to travel from transmitter to the target and again the same distance traveled from target to the receiving antenna. And therefore, here we are considering the total distance traveled is nothing but R plus R and that is equal to 2R. The time taken by the signal to travel the same distance is given by So the distance r is given as c tr upon 2 where c is the speed of light and tr is the total time. If we consider tr in range of microsecond then the distance is traveled or the distance is calculated by Now, so if 
ER is in microsecond, then the distance or a range is given by R equals to 3 into 10 raised to 8 into TR seconds into R NMI, where 1 NMI is equals to 1 nautical per miles. And this value is now equals to 0 0.081 TR microseconds. Now, 1 NMI is given as... One NMI is now equal to 1.851852 kilometer and one kilometer per hour is equal to 0 0.54 knot per second. Here, nautical is basically a convenient measurement which is used in the applications of communication system. So, the range of radar is given also by using a formula. So, in terms of nautical miles, the radar range is find out by using a formula that is equal to time elapsed divided by 12.36 microseconds per NMI. So, in this way, we can find out the equation for the radar range. But practically, it is not always possible to consider only these factors. The other factors will also get affect the values of the signals. During transmission and during reception of the signal, many environmental factors affect the signal which causes attenuation of signal. And because of that, while practically calculating the range, we require to consider some other factors also. Now, let's move on to some MCQs so that we can understand the topic in more detail. So, the first question is, the simple range determination of radar depends on and the options are size of target, frequency of radar operation, time elapsed between transmit and receive signal, free space propagation speed which is fixed. Now, in this case, we can say that the simple range determination of radar depends on, basically it depends on the time elapsed between transmit and receive signal. Because we know that this, whenever the signal is transmitted from transmitter to the object and again it is get reflected back from object to transmitter, it gives us the total time period. And this total time period is used to determine the range or the distance at which the radar expect the object is present. So, we can say the simple range determination of radar depends on the time elapsed between transmit and receive signal. So, in this way, we can find out the range or the distance at which the object is present. So, I hope you understand this topic of finding out the range for the radar so that the radar can determine the presence and also determine the location of the object. So, I hope you understand this topic. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.